Hello, Internet. It's me, Becca, back with another uh, episode of Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, I feel like the rest of the world has finished this game, and I'm just barely starting. Also, I've taken forever to find out how the hell to change this title, so... Night Owls only. That's Boyfriend Dungeon. You know, I used to stream a little bit more regularly, and I used to play um, Let's Plays before I got busy. And if I have time, which is a big ask for me, then I will. So I'm going to get started here, show you my face. Hi. Welcome to official next episode of Boyfriend Dungeon. Just going to do a quick audio check. Don't worry, the doors are closed behind me. I just got done watching Candyman and I'm sufficiently spooked. So if I look over my shoulder a whole bunch, that would be why. So I'm just going to test my audio real quick. Sufficiently spooked. Okay. All right. I can hear myself. So that's a, that's a good sign. Navigating OBS has been so much fun. So I'll just have the chat up just in case there are any issues. And we can get started. I had the pleasure of going on a couple of dates in this game already, some of which went really well. We learned kind of the hack and slash them of this game. And it's really cute because it's, it's as much of a dungeon crawler as it is a point and click, which I appreciate. Um, dating sims like had a full boyfriend uh, I have a really hard time with those sometimes like keeping my attention but hopefully we'll meet some new swords today I totally forgot where we left off so let's get to that right so we met Valeria the last time who's our lady sword who, you know, was a little timid about us, and that's okay. Let's switch it up today, because we got some, ooh, look at that new outfit. I'm super cute. Oh, I like that. That's cute. The one thing I always crack up about is the fact that sometimes when you play a simulator of any kind, that people just choose the same hairstyle or the same color. It's just funny. You have all these options. So, where do we last leave off? We got some stuff. We have new weapons. Ooh. We have some combos. With Epe, we have Repost. Holding roll lets you encounter attack if you just. If you if use just before an incoming attack. Okay. Power. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. And the dagger, which is Valeria, the newest sword that we met. Some light combos, some heavy combos. One, 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 two, one, one. Ah, okay. I am not going to remember that. But. Let's go into this dungeon. So I'm just like ooh, rubbing the crap out of my eye just then. Let's see. Okay, so nope. Tab. We have $9.88. So that definitely means we gotta fight some more dungeon stuff. So that way we can get some more money. And we can play some more. Oh, we like to go to three. I keep dying on level four. If you've uh, seen my previous my previous video, just kept dying. There's some really good good monsters kicking my butt. Ooh, down, down we go. Whew. 
Oh, please don't let this be a bug. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. I was gonna say that. That would be my luck, is finding a bug. It's nice that it's not so crowded. That is Valeria. Oh. If you didn't see me the last time, she was, was kidnapped, essentially, and dragged into this dungeon. And if you don't remember from the last time, the angle of which my mouse is, is the hack I'm slashing, as opposed to the WASD I typically use. Ooh. Let's see if we can get to five bucks. Whoa, what? Very cool, okay. You climb down into the darkness. So we just found a new room. Ooh, secret shopper. What is this? <gasps> what did I choose the last time? Hey, everybody. Monster. They allow humans down here now? I thought this place was exclusive. Monster. I gotta save up my money for the dungeon. I found a whole little, like, monster shopping mall. What is this? See, this is why you don't go cheap in your... In the games that you play, everybody. All right, fixing the hair, and let's let's see what there is to see, and stop getting defeated by the likes of yours. Ooh, all right, very cool. Ah, Vitus Varnus. It seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm. What? Better than one in your phone? A digital camera? Blue lipstick, crimson lipstick, bomber jacket. This is like a whole underground thing. That's really rad. <laughs> As you wish. Stay safe out there. Okay. Nothing to hack and slash in here. But still. Alright. Let's just... Let's see here. Let's use Sunder. I'll go back to Valeria in a little bit. I just want to see what's out there. Alright. Gotta remember to keep your health there. There we go. I will take that. Thank you very much. Also, using your health is important too because you can only carry three at a time. So, there's that. What is that? Ooh. Ooh la la. Oh. Oh, oh okay. I, f I think I found another challenger. Very cool. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on out, fellas. Yes. Hack and slash, but throw my sword? No, I can't answer that yet. All right, well, I am out of healing stuff. Let's see if let's see if I can make it through this. Oh, wait. No, not in there. All right, let's see if I can make it through this challenge, and maybe that those doors will unlock. So we'll see. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, ooh, juice. Come on, come on. Two for one, two for one, two for one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I was worried I might not survive that one. I think if I go into another room, however, without any sort of healing stuff, I am definitely gonna die. I sounded drunk just then. I am definitely gonna die. Ooh. Alright. Alright, I need to heal. Give me some heal, baby. Shizen. My kingdom work out. Come on, just get coins. What the frick? Alright, I'm. Nah, nuts. 
If I go in there, I'm definitely gonna die. Did I find some healing? Hmm. Nope. Ah. All right. You know, sometimes you just gotta learn the hard way, I guess. Yeah. Shoot. And... Oh, what I wouldn't give for just a little soda. Just a little bit of soda just for me. Are you a soda? Oh, your materials. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you very much. I will take that. Hot dog! What do you know? Uh-huh. Sure, I'll skate a bit. Want to race? I'm going to warn you, I'm not bad. Um, let's race. That's what I'm talking about. Two laps, all right? Ready, set, go. You both set off, carving up the ice. I was expecting a little mini game, but okay. You skate as hard as you can, but in the middle, you fumble and you nearly trip. Sunder beats you to the finish line. Phew, that was close. You're pretty good. <laughs> now my blood's pumping. I love it. Sunder smiles. Would you like to offer a gift? No. You decide not to give a gift right now. We're all warmed up for more monster fighting. I don't know if I want to romance Sunder. I, I, with the violet pass? I don't know. I don't know if that's such a good idea. You found the bike helmet recipe. There's a whole oh thank goodness. Okay. There's a whole lot of healing stuff in here, so that increases my chances of not completely dying in the next round. Ooh, yeah, see? Get out of here. Look out of here. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't want to get too cocky, but I feel pretty good about that. Shabby. Yeah, when I first started this, I was a little, a little worried about my own skills. You found a pepperoni pizza recipe. See, now that's how you romance up a pizza. Wait. You stay away from a man's heart is through his stomach. Oh boy! Hey everybody! How's it going? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Thank you very much. God, I would kill for a Zion right now. Woo jeez! Woo jeez! Shoot! No, 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 Because you get one on me, I'm dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. I couldn't tell if there was a healing thing in there, but I think I used it. Thank goodness. Also, I'm gonna play as far as I can today. I kind of want to stay up till midnight, but we'll see. We'll see how much energy I have. Very cool. We are maxed out at one. If we can get to level two on any one of these swords, then this is bragging rights. All right. I definitely need more healing stuff. Oh, shit. yeah. Battle your fears. Oh, is it somebody not texting me back? <laughs> oh shit! What, what is this? Oh god! Ah! What is this? Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! no. You can go to hell. You can go straight to hell. Ooh. Oh! Oh god! Oh my god, 
and I don't have any signs and I don't have any healing. Oh great, but I do have sugar. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. No 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 Get wrecked! Damn it! Alright. Secret bounds. Oh look at all these monsters I killed. Alright, I did better than I thought I would, but kind of stinks when you can only carry through at a time. Fields are level 6. Hey, hey. Oh, here we go. Alright, go home. I wonder how much money we earned. I like that there's no shame in when you die, too. It's just like, okay, try again. What does it say? Just as a tickets. Taking a second to type. I don't know Sunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record. Um, thanks, Dad. Just be careful, okay? I'm definitely. Uh, hey, wait. <laughs> um, yeah, like you can only carry three healing at the same time. Um, Jesse's just warning me about Sunder. Sunder is the hottie with a naughty body who you don't want to romance. Sunder says, want to go to the club again? Um, yeah. Why not walk headfirst into danger? I say, live, laugh, love. That's what I always say. It's a date. I'm all yours. That's a lie. A lie. Valeria says, I had an idea. Do you like museums? Yeah. Meet me at the museum. Wear something red. Seriously? Why are you trying to control what I wear, Valeria? Fucking weirdo. Alright, so... Be careful of Sunder, even though we're gonna dance with him. Um, dancing is not a marriage. Calm down, it's okay. Ooh, we can craft a pepperoni pizza! Clink, 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 clink. Hell yeah! See? That's how you romance him. Give him a pizza. I'll be like, mm, baby, thanks for the pizza. Alright, and a bike helmet. Hot dog. So this game has a lot of, a lot of things in it. <laughs> ah, red rose. You can craft, you can go do a little dungeon crawler, and then you can do a dating simulator. It has a lot of things. Kind of keeps it dynamic enough for somebody like me who gets a little bored of the, the point and click, the point and the click. Um, so if you're just joining, there we have several options. There's Valeria, there's Sunder, there's um, Jesse. Je we're not dating Jesse, Jesse's our cousin. But we got some, some sick options here. All right, so we are going on a date. Let's go with Valeria first, because she is, you know, safe a safer bet. <laughs> You find Valeria in the lobby, and she leads you into the museum. Huh? In the first gallery, Valeria glares daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is boring. I don't trust it. You need yeah. more? Exactly right. Perfect symmetry. Leave it to the mathematicians, I say. Valeria guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer a gift? Why not? Give her a little rose. I'm not giving her the pizza. Wait, what fried mackerel? No. I give her a rose. Here you go. Aw, that's thoughtful of you. Thanks so much. She talks about the art with intimate fondness, like they're eccentric family members. Huh? Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which one would it be? It's not a museum, but the Library of Alexandria, because it still hurts. Um, uh, that's a loaded question. I know they're my favorite kind of questions. You really never thought about it before. I'd steal The Birth of Venus by Bojro. Don't judge me. I. <laughs> it's in the Musée d'Orsay, ground floor near the stairs. <sighs> the real issue's the size. It's three by 2.18 meters and it would be a crime to roll it up. You thought huh? this through. Well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'm just gonna play along. Little. 
stealing person over here. I'd miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you liberate? Hmm. Huh. Maybe the kiss. I do like the kiss. It's really sweet. A passion and bold piece. Rather like you, I think. You're flirting with me. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them, anyway. Okay, Killmonger. Art should be free out in the world. It's not hidden away like this. <sighs> but Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum's free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we could go look at it sometime together. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's the Roses of Venus. You know, the anonymous graffiti artists. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Huh. Just as you're getting to know her better, Valeria attention wanders. We look around to see what's distracting her and- Wait. It's the guy from the park. He's standing at the gallery entrance glaring at you both. Um... I'm so sorry. I'll take care of this. She grabs the guy by the shoulders and pulls him away. She whispers to him. They look intimate, like they've known each other forever. After a few moments, Valeria returns looking flushed and angry. Ugh. Do you want to get out of here? Why was he uh, here? Uh. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to be somewhere else with you. Red flag. <laughs> um, sneaky. Enemies are confused longer. Ooh. Let's see. Traveler, roll further. Sneaky. Enemies are confused longer. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Kind of have an option of how to use her. So what do you say? I'm going to say yeah. some other times. Yeah, yeah, probably for the best, right? Secrets don't make friends. Valeria accompanies you through the rest of the museum, but she seems preoccupied. <laughs> I'll call you. Eventually, you head home. Ah, uh, another fruitless dating. Ah. Cousin always coming through. Jesse, I found you another date. You probably already met her. Who is it? Go to paradise. Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll be there. She'll wear a blue jacket. Fine. And don't forget to smile. Thanks. Hmm, the fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling, optional. Maybe only half a smile. Like this side of your face, smiling. This other side of your face, neutral. You up. New phone. Ha. You up text. Thanks for making the museum more fun. Then I maybe made it awkward. I want to see you again. Let's dunge for a while. Let's re re re. You like to steal. I like to stab. What a pair are we? All right. So yeah, here's everything. Everybody we have so far. Um, my cousin Jesse in the game. Valeria, who's a sword. Sunder, who's a sword. Isaac, who's a sword. And Eric, who is an ass. He is an asshole. <laughs> you don't want to date him. Alright. Um, there seems to be like a stalker in the game too. I have yet to encounter that. But just content warning for anybody who's a little sensey about that. Um, cool. Alright, let's go see what Sunder's about. Sunder from Down Under. We have a date with this jerk. Alright. You spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP section. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's get to know each other. Ask me anything beautiful. Um, so you're a dancing scimitar. <laughs> whoa, yeah, whoa. Towers are completely different from scimitars, but sure, I dance plenty. I own this place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I do make with the scraps. Life is for living, right? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. Love ring two. Let's see. Swinger finishers have a larger attack. Nice wordplay. Dance four. Do more damage when surrounded. Ooh, I like that. Finishers have a larger attack area. Yeah, I like the first option. So I spend most nice dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sunder meets your gaze with an intensity that makes you blush. 
His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts uh... away. I'll be right back, beautiful. Don't go anywhere, all right? He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably only a few minutes, but it feels like he's been gone a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a suspicion, maybe nothing but jealousy. Check the bathroom. You wonder if you should go after him. Check the bathroom. <laughs> Your gut feels tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to be. Uh, let's go. You decide to take a little peek to calm your nerves. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. If there's anything you take away from this silly stream, just trust your gut. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. You find a back door propped open outside here giggling. You step outside and find Sunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. Is that her? Because someone like... Because someone like that's watching us. Sunder leaps away from her, wiping his mouth. Hey. What? Oh, hey, Bojangles, which is my name in the game. So, this is weird. I'm gonna go. Uh... No need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in soon. Um... Are you dating someone? Well, no, not really. Not that you and me are exclusive, but I'm here for you primarily. <sighs> Sunder. To be fair, at the beginning of the game, I was warned that this guy's a total douche bagaroni. So I haven't gifted him anything, because Hottie with a Naughty Body is clearly making out with the other lady who is gorgeous. So, eh. Just chill out a little, okay? We'll have so much fun together. I want to make you feel special, because you are. I like you a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. While I was just making out with this lady. Hmm. But also, sometimes, I want to kiss other people, and I'm sorry if that hurts. Oh God, that's the apology? Uh -huh. Okay, fine, I really am sorry. I won't lie to you again, I promise. I'll do right by you, Bojangles. Trust me. Oh boy. <laughs> this is not, um, but remember kids, Polly without communication is just cheating. Uh, would you like to offer a gift? <laughs> no, no, not for her. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, you head home. Just not a lot of luck. Not a lot of luck. Hey, thanks for coming last night and watching me make out with somebody else. Just my luck. Uh, you're my favorite dancer. Um, I have to think. Leave them. Like Michael Jackson used to say, make them wait. Let's dunge some more in the meantime. I'm gonna take your sword and I'm just gonna dunk it into the sea. Let you drown for a little bit. All right, so, you know, we're two for two. What if I just wore a helmet around? Would that be weird? Okay, all right. Anyway, so far, not much luck on the dating front. I keep being set up with women. And then the dude that I'm trying to date is making out with other people while we're on a date. Oh man, two for two, two for two. All right, how much money do we have? 18 bucks. Yeah, we can dunge some more. Let's dunge some more. Yeah, watch out for those. We'll go with Valeria, because Thunder can suck it. He in the elevator, going down, yelling timber. Let me pause my, uh, Super relaxed music, I think. It's nice that it's not so crowded. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, wait, he's definitely not exclusive. And, you know, it was my bad. Can't throw into a housewife, as they say. Alright. Woo! Get out of the way! Ah ha ha! Oh, Rick Brack's next Ah! Alright! Woo! A peel, a peel! Got right now! I don't know if any of you have animals, but it's almost like your animal can tell when you're in a boss fight, because that's when they want attention. Hot dog! Get out of here! There we go. Okay, I don't know how close I am to killing this jerk. Come on! Come on! 
on. All right, I'm so close. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Woo! Get out of here. Here we go. Here. Ooh, a male gate has a male gate. A male gate has been unlocked. Hot diggity dog. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Uh, y'all, but whenever I'm in a boss fight, that is when Cat is raging. And Wade, no packs this year, um, mostly because I don't want COVID. <laughs> um, I miss it. I've gone every year since, gosh, since my early 20s. It kills me not to go. There's some people that I really love and respect that are going, but no packs for me. I'll be back. I'm really hurting, honestly, for um, Geek Girl Con too. Don't know what's going on with that now that I'm no longer involved. Uh, no, now that I'm, I'm involved, but I, I don't work for that um, organization any longer. Or volunteer, I should say. I will be back at Con when this virus has been better handled. Because, yeah, there are people that are going out fully vaccinated. Um, oh, how nice. There are people that are going out fully vaccinated that are still getting sick, so just not risking it. Huh. That's my lecture. Valeria, ah, it feels nice to stretch out after a long sush of stabbing monsters. But if you go, please be safe. Wash your hands. Don't even, don't take your mask off at the convention. Don't even do it to eat. Just, if you're there, just Oh my god, just go outside to eat, please. Uh, when I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more intense. You enjoy it though, mm -hmm. right? Of course. Why do you think I'm here? The pay isn't that great. She nudges you playfully and sits on Fountain's Edge. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, please be safe. Like, seriously, where am I? <laughs> and if you're taking down, please, um, if you're taking down, please be safe. That's all I ask. You decide not to give a gift right now. We sit together in companionable silence. Thanks. That was nice. My life could use a little bit more peace. Good night. Thank you for watching. I'll have this uploaded to YouTube later. Take care. I'm going to be up all night. Or at least until midnight. Bye. Ooh. Thank you for joining my stream. <laughs> I appreciate you. Ah, monsters! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Whoa. Did I just... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna go back out here and beat him. So where did she go? We're fighting. All right, all right. Oh. Uh. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. Okay. I'm dying. I need healing stuff before I fight anybody else. Ooh ah, ooh ah. You found a teddy bear recipe. Ooh la la. I'm gonna have so many gifts for so many lovers. Alright. A uh, cap recipe. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, you're with me. Into the loot sack. As they say. Oh man. If I get one hit from a monster, I am I'm not gonna be do so good. Okay. Ah, I like that. Oh. Some places you can give it the old stabbing stab. I'm definitely toast if I go through there. So let me try to find another way. Night owls only. Let's see there. No. 
I already beat that. I was just really hoping, <laughs> I was just really hoping for some more um, healing juice before I get my ass handed to me by that TV, the television homie, but I think I'm just gonna have to accept the L. And I don't see because I don't like losing. Just lame. Get out of here. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, get me out of here. Gosh. Yes. Get over here. These you guys do the most damage. I don't appreciate it. Get over here for my ass. Yes. That's what it's all about. Oh, oh. Just give you the old stabby stabs. How the hell did I do that on five health? I do not know. But shout out to the game developers for making this a game I can actually, I don't know, accelerate in. Because I am I'm not a strong gamer. Not a strong gamer. But I do my best. Maybe we can level up a little bit. Have some. Oh, jeez. Yes. That is. Oh, Jesus. Look at your. Shoot. When I. Oh my god. I can't be the. Ah, nuts. And I'm dead. I can't be the, the only person that presses tab when they mean to press Q. Because I'm specifically aiming for the. Woo! Level 8! I'm aiming for the, um, uh, uh, using the Zymes. I just, Q is, it's not my favorite key. It's not my favorite key. Okay, okay, okay. So, we've got a lot more things to craft right now. Let's do it. Okay. Craft, 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 craft. Okay, that's fun. Hooray! Okay. I mean, that's a little funny there. Hooray! Alright! Got the crafting going. Mmm, that sweet new hat. Hey. Alright, so far. So good, We're leveling up. I was hoping that we would get some more zines by now, honestly. But not so much, not yet. I haven't checked how much shmoney shmoney we got going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. $24. Mm, I think that's enough just yet. Paradise. Oh, that's right. We're meeting up with our dates. Let's go. Let's see what there Welcome is. Welcome to Paradise Lost. <laughs> I'm Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? The fluffy Me cats. too. The more fluff, the better, I say. Sorry, short hairs, but fluff them if you got them. No offense, Diana. Wherever you are. Ah, she's watching me play. I don't know if you can see her back there. But, all right. Hmm. Do you want to order coffee? Uh, are we on a date? <laughs> oh, sorry, ha. Huh? I thought Jesse told you. He set us up. Oh, and I forgot to take off my apron. Sorry, one sec. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess it's kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang in pet cats. I don't really like dates anyway. Hmm. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? Then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing. It's also fake. What about dating swords? Everyone's got their thing, I guess. I'd have to try it and see. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focusing in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you. I think someone's watching us through the window. You peek from the corner of your eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm, they're gone. Maybe I wasn't imagining things. 
I think I spoke too soon about the stalker. An elegant cat walks up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. Huh? I don't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? She's so cute. May I pet, perhaps? Olivia reaches her hand tentatively, but the cat stalks away, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. You spend some time with Olivia chatting and petting cats. Aw, that was nice. See you around. See ya. Um, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. She backs out of the cafe with a blush. The cat gives you a pitying look. Hey, kitty kitty. The, cares to <laughs> the cat stares at you until you feel uncomfortable. You head home. All right. Guess it didn't work out. Oh no. What did it? You know, your date with that coffee cutie. I've been there. I know how it feels to be rejected. They think they're so much better than us, but they're not. You're better than all of them. You deserve to be treated like a queen, Bojangles, which is my name in the game. Um, please stop. Uh, sorry if I'm awkward or say too much. You are. So how to go with Olivia? The dice. Okay, don't worry about it. We're zero for two, but this is normal. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago, you never dated anyone. Now you're experienced and you have skills. If you want to change it up, your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. And the most romantic holiday ever is around the season. Valentine's? No, silly, 4th of July. Nothing more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. Of course. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. It's true. A little kissy kissy and fireworks. It's pretty great. I met my parther, par, parther, partner, Samantha, at a barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all, hey. I'll send you details soon. All right. Got some options here. I'm not a fan of Eric just popping up whenever we're dating, but such is life. <laughs> All right, so cutting edge, Jim. Ooh, I haven't played with Eric in a while. Isaac, Isaac. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. Maybe I have to play with another... Uh, I can improve, what can we do? Let's see. I think I have to have a level dot sword in order to do anything. Hey. Am I crazy? I can't do nothing. I don't know what to do. Prove check. All right, we'll come to that. That's weird. We'll come back to that, rather. That's weird. El Granero. What you got over here? Oh, yeah, the theater that I always forget about. I keep thinking it's an actual shop shop. Mm. Nothing yet. All right. Before we hop into the fray, we should spend any money. Hmm. Don't need anything from here. Uh, the one thing I really enjoyed about um, uh, South Park, the South Park game, um, Cracked, something Cracked. Anyway, the shop that they had, you were able, always able to sort of level up in some way. Like you were constantly progressing even if there was a little bit of a lull in the game. So that's kind of one thing I've noticed about this one is it is a little bit of a grind. A little bit, not a lot. Oh, Blue Jangles, find time in your busy love life to stop by. Naturally. I don't think I need anything from here either. Oof. Okay, 
Well, now we have a little cat cafe for future dates, which is pretty cute. We'll just keep finding in the zone, see what's good. Now that we have some leveled up swords, yeah, I use Isaac this time. Bye. Get the elevator. Going down. In the elevator. We haven't unraveled a new sword just yet. So I'm hoping that maybe we'll we'll, we'll get to that. Let's point. see if we can help you fear change just a little bit less. Mm. Oh boy. Right. Shouldn't have done that. Easier this time. Fashion design. Bleh. Oh my god. Fashion design recipe. Oh yeah. We beat him in record time because the first couple of times was a wolf. Alright, so. Also, the music in this game is so pretty. Ah, they did such a great job with it. There we go. Just keep, just keep at it. Get rid of these guys first because they like to pump up my bits. And I don't like that. Get out of here. You jerks. I'm in far better, far better position now. Okay. Raspberry liqueur recipe. How fancy. We're steadily moving along. I was really hoping we'd meet more swords at this uh, juncture, but hmm, a little restroom. Room for rest. <sighs> you worked up a sweat, I see. Perhaps an ice cream would cool you down. It's been so long since I've indulged. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have an apricot gelato. What flavor would you like? Uh... Careful there. Fixate too much on purity, and you'll see it everywhere. Oh, this reminds me of Rome. The sun on the piazza. The taste of apricots. So we kind of covered this the last time. Have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic fencers in Rome. Top notch. Perhaps we can go on a date to match together someday. For now, however, practice with you. Mm. Right. This level is very familiar. Ah, oh, get me out of here! Sometimes it just gets real, real busy, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap! I have no help. All right. I think I covered everything here. Maybe? Well, I, I do want to go down to another level, though, and beat it. I want to get down as far as I possibly can. All right. I'm keeping you, Isaac. You did me proud. Keep me, keep me young. Oh, hold. This is the one that I died at. Yep. And that's the one I want to be to die. One more left. Yes. All right. That 
was a freaking hard level up. Oh, come on. open for a little bit more romance but um all right almost got you another date but he needs some info be honest would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet um it doesn't matter let's say buff why not just for the pure sake of um thirst <laughs> well it was a trick question because this guy is buff and sweet. His name is Jonah and he's the best. Um, approved. Let's do this. Solely for the thirst. Oh, just so you know, um, we used to date a while back. But way before Samantha, he was really fun. I'm getting your leftovers? Uh, okay. Will I meet Samantha? Samantha? I don't even know Samantha. Of course. Talk to you soon. Don't set me up with your exes, you weirdo. In real life. Uh, I'd like to practice more parries. I often practice at the mission. Care to join me? Okay. I'll be in the sanctuary of San Trovo. Alright. Things are getting a little spicy around these parts. Take some raspberry with here in the meantime. Yum. All right, let's see. Music is just so peaceful. I really appreciate it. All right, let's, let's try to just get to level seven. Yeah, let's get to level seven before we move on. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Going down. Down, down, way down, Hades Town. This down, place down, didn't down. always have monsters in it. I'm so forlorn. Poor Valeria. Nice. Oh yeah, there's considerable difference when you play with the a leveled up. Hmm. self indulgent you sit in the massage chair, begin to vibrate, and need your back. Ugh. Oh my god, I could totally go for that right now. Ah. Allegra. Too soon. It's over. You feel more relaxed. Would you like to offer a gift? No. You decide not to offer a gift. Valeria stretches with a happy girl. Huh. Do you think monsters use Mr. Massage chairs to relax when they're not fighting? <laughs> Definitely. She laughs to herself. Mm -hmm. All those weird vertebrae need special massage expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up, let's freaking go. I was fully expecting some enemies in this area. I guess not. Alright, music is pumping. Oh! See what I mean? Get over it! So normally I would play on a Sunday, but truth be told, engagement on a Sunday is just, it's not it. And it's like, it was the only day I really had truly to myself for quite some time. So I might just switch it up and do some more um, middle of the week streams. We'll see. I don't really have to edit them too much, I just play and um, 
you know, upload it and go. And if people happen to watch my videos that are like an hour and a half of me just gaming, alright, I'm cool with that. Ah, son of a. Ah. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Ven pa' acá! There we go. I could really use some Healy Juice. Big ol' slash slash. Another day, another victory. It is considerably noticeable when you play with a leveled up, uh, weapon. You don't die as much. To the max. I think I might wrap this up at 11.30 my time on Pacific Standard Time. I've already seen a scary movie today, so I think I need to rest my weary little head and give my <laughs> poor cat some attention. It's been a long day for both of us. Yes. Muchisimos gracias. Alright. I love loot. Loot is my one of my favorite things about gaming. I love that I'm taking a breather, she said. Neither would I. I never quite got the hang of ice skating. Um It's fun, don't get me wrong. I just fall down a lot. Hang on, that's mm -hmm. that. That's the plan, here we go. She skates with remarkable speed and confidence for someone without any skill. Wait, how do I stop? Uh-oh, she crashes in the side. Falling <laughs> on your butt. <laughs> just like old times. Ow. Eventually, you take off the skates. Thanks. Yeah, she had fun. She could use a little bit of fun. In I think we all could use a little bit of fun. So if you happen to watch this stream either now at 11 o'clock at night Pacific Standard Time or on your own time, I appreciate it very much. I need to get the heck out of the way. Queen of calling it close in this game. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die in this game. Things get weird after about 11 o'clock and I'm not really sorry for it. Shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh shoot! I did not make the right choice! No? Wrong choices for me? Ah! Nuts. Alright. Did not make the- did not walk into the- the right, um... Woo! Didn't walk into the right area. I was low on health. I was low on all the things, but hey, still leveled up. We leveled up, kiddos. Maybe we can see about going on- I just I want to date. I mean, dungeon crawling is fun. But Jesse says, okay, so you and the plus one are invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. And Jonah really wants to meet you, and he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. Do you want to invite anybody? Um, not really. Like, we haven't really hit it off with anybody. Nah. Okay, well, if you change your mind, tell them to bring something. See you tomorrow. Am I needing me again? I'll explain some things, please. Alright. Here's a hint for where to find me. Thanks. Cool. 
We have so many crafty things that I want to give them to people. I love giving gifts. God damn it. <laughs> Let me shower somebody with some romantic things. That's all I want. Alright, so... I don't know what to do with this gym thing. There's not a whole lot, I suppose. Okay, so far we've been dungeoning a whole lot. We have some dates to go on. We might wrap it from there. The church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training mm. space. Hmm, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster to try a new parry in a uh, new parry direction. For those of you who don't know about parry, I think parry is jab, 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 pull back, jab, 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 pull back. The only reason I know that is because of Valheim. <laughs> um, parry right. diagonally. Yes, just like that. Perfect form. Just lovely. You have oh. a perfect form too. Wink, wink. What? I'm not even wielding. Oh, you mean. Ah, well, thank you. Um, let's resume. You practice carry and lunges for a little while. <laughs> nice work. You even have me sweating. Oh god! You launch into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. <laughs> he deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. Narrative team. I know what you're doing. Okay. Oh? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been a selfish teacher, haven't I? I was pushing your boundaries rather carelessly. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Thank you! <laughs> uh, yeah, no. The only reason I know about Perry is because of Valheim. So, yay! Mm -hmm. Isaac, we could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? He takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in a church. It's a comforting place. Mm -hmm. If dungeons were your family tradition, church was ours, I guess. She came for the community mostly, but I took it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Bojangles, which is my name in the game, in case you're confused. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? Uh... Questioning and open-mindedness are important, even so. I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or another. At least we can agree on that. Love is power, not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Those very wise words. Mm. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or not. Or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. I feel little, little kitty paws on my feet right now, which is kind of like... The Oscar music is my kitty cue that it's time for me to get the hell off the computer. So I'm gonna go on this date, wrap it up probably, and head out because I can feel her like my little cat Diana going, <laughs> Go to bed. Um, Isaac, I know you like talking business and I see it as a more powerful tool. I started Brooks Associate to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. <sighs> he releases a long exhalation. Shaking his head. Anyway, I want to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. He called me poor in the last episode, basically. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of sabre rattling. Sabre rattling? Sabre. Nah. Why don't you stand up to him? Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a sabre? Sabre? Why don't you stand up to him? Isaac frowns, looking away. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps, I should try to say something. His dad called me poor in the last game. 
probably not not a great start. No matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to get into the dunge, even when you're afraid? I just plunge oh. in. Right on in. Yeesh, I tried that with Vincent once. As a teenager, it did not end up well. I think I still have a car scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. I can read, I promise. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. A crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps service will start soon. Oh? Oh, out of time already? How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. It's a church. Uh, would you like to offer a gift? Sure. All right, everybody. So I've been crafting. I've got bang bracelets, which he's denied before. A fried mackerel, which is what really gets the boys going. A pizza. Raspberry liqueur, which I think he would like. Vodka. And a teddy bear. So I feel like he's more of a liqueur type of guy. You're very generous. I'm flattered. Thanks. I made it myself. Good day, Bojangles. Be well. You head home. Anyway, uh, if you jumped in, you jumped out. Thank you so much for watching. It's just me, myself, my impatient cat, playing Dungeon Boyfriend. I Boyfriend Dungeon? Ooh, crazy cat art. All right. Who do you invite to Jesse's barbecue? Do I want to stir up shit? Do I want somebody I'm not interested in? Do I want Isaac? Nobody. Uh, who's the most deserving? Let's say Sunder. Why not? He accepts and says he'll meet you there. I have a, just a feeling in my gut this guy's going to flake. Okay. Don't worry. You worry it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everybody likes cake. Everybody likes cake, but not a lot of people like frosting. If you're one of those, I pray for you. You find Sunder waiting outside Jesse's house. Looking good. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music in the backyard. You go around back hey, to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Everyone be friendly, okay? A few strangers look at you curiously and you raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cake! Perfect. We needed something sweet. Hell yeah. And who's this with you? Oh my. Oh, it's the guy you don't like. <laughs> Name's Sunder. The pleasure is all mine. Sunder from Down Under. Perfect. Mind mixing a drink with me? I'll come with you and prep the burgers. In case you missed it, he brought vodka. Mm. In the meantime, Bojangles, me Jonah. Here go. Talk. Aw, uh, Jonah, what happened? <laughs> Does that mean? He just, ooh, he's down on his luck. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um, hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot, <laughs> you knew that already. Oh, Jonah, what happened, buddy? You're Jesse's ex. Uh, Jesse and me? <laughs> no, wait. Wait. Yeah, I guess we did. Huh. That was forever ago. And it was just like a month. I would not date my cousin's ex. Could he just... Am I? Is that close-minded? I don't know. Haven't thought about that in years. <laughs> Things were so different back then. Jesse said you were fighting monsters. Is that right? You're some kind of hero. It's no big deal. <laughs> That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. We're gonna have to cheer up a little bit because look at these sad eyes. Look at them. Just, yeah, eh. okay. I've been thinking about trying the dunge out myself sometime, maybe. Which tells me he's not a sword. Jesse said you wield, um, weapons down there. I can sometimes be an axe. I don't often do it, though. How do you do it? I just decide shape, like clenching a fist. 
Maybe I'll show you sometime. He's one of the axe people we've talked about. Anyway, I could definitely use the money for my gig, but... Uh... Promise we won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animals? I'm vegan! Hey, me too. Jonah's eyes soften with trust. He this is softening with something. Oh, Jonah. I... Paper bag. Here's my number. Maybe we can get together sometime. Or if you want to hang out like as humans, I'm usually at the beach. Sounds good. All right. I do fuck with somebody who uh, likes to, you know, hang out at the beach. Sunder gracefully rejoins and Jonah bearing drinks. I got martinis, screwdrivers, and cosmos. What I miss? Not much. Just some awkward small talk. The huge. Eric. <laughs> This, this guy, oh no. Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Ugh. Ah, this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Hello. Bojangles. May I kiss your hand? Ugh. No. Woo, he went Sorry about that. I do get a bit overexcited sometimes. When I see someone of high value, that is. Like it's yourself. love bombing, it's love bombing, it's love bombing. Red flag, red flag. Eric gives you a deep formal bow. This reminds me of art school. Yikes. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey Eric, I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriot, patriotic type. Well, I heard the elusive Bojangles would be here, which is me. Uh, so I had to make an appearance. I know probably as you're watching the recap video, you'd be like, why does she keep saying that? Just in case anybody pops in. Um, with the romance of the barbecue and the fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. Jonah, real subtle, bro. Ah, subtlety is combat, is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. <laughs> yeah, art school. Art school. This, oh my god. The bowing and the milady is a it's a real thing. It's not just like a stereotype. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on targets. I'm not a target. Hmm. I'm a person. I'm a you want one person of affection you are. My sweet is my chival chivalrous ardor stirring your loins. I didn't write this. Ugh. Party music plays from speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking louder. Ugh. Sorry, neighbors. Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Air poison. I cannot stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give me, give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> They're really just here uh, up late at night, so thanks, y'all. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. I feel like he's the type of man that would scuttle away like a little crab. <laughs> Jonah, are, are you okay, Bojangles? Eric really gets to you, huh? I hate him. He's grown. <laughs> I feel like he would mouth breathe over my neck. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Sundra gives you a small, concerned smile and changes the focus of the conversation. Truth be told, I only brought Sundra to this barbecue because he's hot. Yeah, he just, that's it. Lights on, nobody's home. Uh, you know him, Jonah? Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad part. I think he's just lonely. I think it's a little bit more than that, to be honest. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. Um, I've had okay. enough problems. I got 99 problems, but Eric ain't left. Ha! Me too, don't we all? The evening goes by surprisingly quick, with lively conversation. You eat improbable burgers and portobello's steadily walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. I don't know if y'all have had impossible burgers, but like they've gotten su sufficiently better. There's even a, 
a chicken patty corn, like chicken patty corn that's really, really good. That has helped me with my um, chicken burger addiction. <laughs> At one point, the music is turned down and everybody gets quiet watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild romantic energy surge through you. You just gotta, mm, everybody, let's kiss everybody. Uh, kiss, uh, Sunder might not be a great idea. I brought him because he was hot. Jonah's the new guy with the sad face. What is the point of a dating simulator if not if you can't give us some kisses? Um, why not, cool. I'll kiss Jonah. Um, mwah, with your weird face. You surprise Jonah with a sudden kiss as the fireworks end. Ooh la la. Oh, I, um, hi. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not complaining either. You know what? Me neither, because of the uh, what's going on up, up on top of your face there, Jonah. But it's probably better than Sunder, because I feel like if I kiss Sunder, I'll wind up pregnant somehow. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those are some explosions, all right. Now back to parting. Oh, also, earlier in the stream, I went on a date with Sunder and he was making out with somebody else, so two can play on that game. Sunder, I'm gonna get home and get some food. There's plenty of burgers, man. Portobello's too, don't hold uh, back. I have a lot of dietary restrictions. You two have fun. See, see, doesn't it suck to be invited somewhere and then watch somebody else kiss your person? Don't do it. Sunder moves very close to you, as if to kiss you goodbye, then turns away at the last moment. Bye. See you. Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah, and you shuffle on home. All right. Jonah said, oh, Jonah got my number quick. Jonah says, nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk more sometime. Or, you know. Even if um, no kissing was involved. I mean, I like the kiss. Don't get me wrong. Just, okay, never mind. But I just remembered I'm out of town for the rest of the summer. Sad. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, sorry. Maybe we can connect again somehow someday. If you ever come back to town in the fall, maybe I can show you some surfing spots on the island. Or some kissing spots. What island? Verona Island. The ferry is under repairs right now, though. Oh, well. I hope your summer in Vivi is the best. Wish you were here. Blech. Haha, <laughs> me too. I think we'll meet again somehow sooner than we think. Aw, oh, alright. Figures. Sad face, Jonah. So, how was the barbecue? So romantic. You win. Even if he's a, you know, ships in the night. I knew it. Honestly, I consider my job here done. You've met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of the summer. Is that okay? Sure. Cool. Now we can just be normal friends and cousins. Phew. Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. I hope this doesn't mean I won't get any more text messages from my cousin. That's us. Hmm. Isaac says, thank you for coming to my practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? He is from the past. He does not understand human interaction. You don't need emoji. Ooh, yeah. Eggplant. <laughs> so just random stuff? Okay. Knife fire. Let us go to the dungeon. Mm-hmm. All right. He wants to go dunge. Let's see here. So, kissed a boy, invited a boy, got a little revenge. I'm cool with that. I think I might meet up with Isaac one more time and then wrap it up from here. Thank you for tuning in. If you've never seen me, my name is Becca. Um, I stream when I can. And I'm just playing a little boyfriend dungeon, finding a little romance. Making mistakes, breaking hearts. That's what we do. All right, to the dunge. We be dungeoning. Bye. I'm mostly <laughs> wrapping things up because my poor kitten is going to murder me if I don't get off 
of an electronical device. Going down, down, it did it around. Let's go. Ugh, I hate malls. Like a glove. Get over here. Look, 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 this. There was mention that the little enemies that you fight are a reflection or a fear. But so far, we've only really run into telephones. Alright. Chemistry sign. Check it out at your workbench. Hot dog. Leave that there in case I need it. I haven't really used up. Yes. So yeah, this game is definitely as much of a dungeon caller as it is a game. Which is kind of cool for me, actually. I like it a lot. It's on Steam and Switch. I had a friend who was playing at work, actually, of all places, who was playing this game on their Nintendo Switch. If you have a Switch like mine with constant drift, that might not be the most ideal, but Truly to each their own. Alright. I really, really want to get down to level 7. But if that doesn't happen, it's no biggie. I just gotta level up my food. It's kind of trippy just watching it switch art styles throughout the game. I really, really like it. Oh god! These little record players are son of a bitch. Dislike. They will just rock my shit every time. That's exactly what I needed. Ooh, fifty dollars. Yeah. Loot sack. Get all up in here. All right. Also, yeah, if you're tuning in and we've never met, my name is Becca. I stream when I can. Right now it's Boyfriend Dungeon and I'm having a blast with it. It's as much of a dungeon caller as it is a dating sim. It's really cute. I, I'm really, really enjoying the heck out of this game. And uh, truthfully, I wish I had gotten it sooner. But, you know, it's never too late. Welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. We've been in this massage chair huh. before, so I won't narrate, but basically, we chillax, and it's fine. Huh. Yeah. Alright. It's a little old hat. Truthfully, not into Valeria. She's got secrets, I don't really trust that about her. Secrets, secrets are no fun. Secrets, secrets are so fun. <laughs> you get that office reference. You're my friends now. I just, truthfully, I feel like the Zions don't do a 
whole lot of damage. Maybe it's just because I'm not close enough. Oh my god! Okay, that's exactly what I need. Oh, that's good. Oh, Every time I start to panic and think that I'm running out of ammo, I find the thing that I need. Goodbye. Take that, monsters. Woo! This level, it just gets harder and harder. Harder and harder. Let's freaking go. Valeria is an excellent weapon. I must say. She's quick and... Okay. We need some health juice. We need some of that good good. Ah! Dang, damn it. Alright. Alright. Fine. Woohoo! Leveled up. Alright. We're going home. We got 50 bucks now, though. I haven't seen anything in the game that I really could utilize, but. Maybe we can craft more stuff. Yes. Chemistry sign. We finally got a new sign! Hot dog! Chemistry sign. Equip it from your sign shelf to get a new dungeon ability. Hey hey! Ha ha! Making some progress! So these are all of the items that I can craft as well. There is some crafting in this game. It's, the grind isn't too terrible because whether you die or not inside of the dungeon, you can still bring it back and make something out of it. So that's not too bad. 20 experience you can do at home. Throws a mine trap. This one throws, oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay. I, I mean, I said I was going to wrap it up, but I kind of want to see what this new Zine ability, like what it looks like in game. So I'm just jump into the dungeon one more time. I'm sorry, Diana. My cat does not care, but at the same time, she kind of does. She's giving me the... Get off the computer, mom. Grabby, grabby. Yes! Okay, I did make it to level 7, so I can wrap it up after this dungeon level. I just want to see... I just want to see it. What it does. Well, just here in. we You're go. Welcome. Did you read the chat? I'm nice, I promise. Unless you're mean. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Goodbye. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, you can really only carry three things at a time. So I might leave that there just in case you need to go back and get it. Mmm, jelly. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna leave that there just in case. I'm gonna adjust. Ah! Nice! Every time, <clears throat> every time I go to press tab, I press Q. Every single time, man. All right. Ah! I'm not deliberately trying to do it. This sort of happens. Get over here, you little dumb dumb. Y'all didn't see me when I was first trying to figure out the combat system. Actually, um, actually, let me go get another. Yeah. Ooh, this is new. Look how cute this is. Oh, I like this. It's a little arcade. Look at the design, it's so cute! Oh my goodness. I love this game. It's so pretty. Who need arcades? Our romantic huh? anyway. The machines become outdated almost as soon as they're made, you know? They're ephemeral, always replaced with something new and better. Valeria leads you to a love tester. Hey, let's try this one. It's some of the older ones. It 
I think it uses skin conductivity. The love tester device has two metal rods. Valeria stands in front of one. Yeah. Well, are you brave enough? This will tell us what our future looks like. Touch the love tester. The machine lights up and beeps as if calibrating. I'm thinking about you and how cute you are. Did you see? The machine suddenly sparks and starts smoking. Um. Ah, there's always a few ways to interpret that. I took with that, but I'll take it as a good sign. We're just too hot for this old rickety thing to handle. Valeria leans in and kisses you softly. Eventually, the kiss ends. Guess we have to get back to work, huh? We can't scandalize the monsters. Valeria sighs dramatically. Sorry, Valeria. I just don't think it's gonna work between us. Barking up the wrong tree, toots. I'm not trying to kill the romance preemptively, but it's not in there. That's okay. Yeah, I'm bored to stagger, I guess. I mean, not I guess, but... Not for me. Is that close-minded? I don't know. Sleepy time, Zion. Ooh, speaking of which, it's almost sleepy time for me. Alright. Man, that telephone was hard to do at first. Get out of here. You dumb dumb. We did it together. Nothing quite like a romance between a girl and her sword. Ah, love. Hmm. Alright. How low can we go? Boop. Basically playing this level till I die. But this is the furthest I've gone since the first game, so pretty proud. Yes. Oh, that's pretty proud. Oh, I love it. I love it. That was pink. is not too bad in this game. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh god. Okay, yeah, that chemistry sign is freaking powerful. I love it. I love not dying immediately when I jump into combat. Something that I find a lot with the uh, path of path of exile. Love that game, but my goodness do I die. Huh? Hmm. Oh yeah. We've seen this before. She goes into her whole art thing. And as an artist, I'm kind of like, yeah, girl, okay. Um, both are <laughs> You and me, you're doomed to fear a liar, even as just friends. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. We kind of ran into the scenario before, but I'll make sure to, to read them out. And if you try and just get a little, a little sleepy. Anime t shirt recipe. Doing too shabby, and I did say I would try to go to midnight. So, uh, oh, look at this floor! Hot dog. Gate is closed. You need a key. All right, let's see if we can open this gate. Yes. Eh, ew. I 
that key. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Woohoo. Mall gate key. Permanent permanently unlocked. Yes. I will happily take that from your hands. That looks like a new sword. You find a strange gadget. It fits in your hand smoothly, but you're not sure how to use it. I wonder who it is. They seem dormant somehow. You press the button, and it fire flares to life. We just found a new weapon. Oh, baby. Oh, what a cutie! Look at this! <laughs> hey. Whoa. I feel slow. Like I took a really long nap. Aww. Maybe I have a screw loose. Literally. Who are you both? What day is it? You tell him what you know. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking me up. I'm seven. I should probably let my agent know where I've been. You have an agent? Yeah. No comment. But I know I owe you one. How about a coffee later? Mm -hmm. Aw, he's cute. Or a whiskey, but okay. Sorry, Valeria. Right in front of you. Seven leaves and re you return to your exploration. Wow. Yay! Okay, I was kind of starting to feel like I hadn't progressed very much. Oh, shit! What are these dudes? These are some new monsters that I've seen. These, uh, television dudes are here. I don't know if I got before. Oh, my kingdom for a sign. Alright. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, I do like rest stops. Huh. When I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more intense. You enjoy mm -hmm. it, though, right? Of course. How do you think I'm here? The pay's enough, right? She nudges you playfully and sits on the fountain bed. Can you sit in a companionable set? Thanks. My life could use a little bit more peace. But now, I'm ready to head back in. I like that there are little brief pauses for relax, relaxing. Relajate. Oh boy, here we go. Having a weapon that leveled up, that is leveled up, helps a lot because those monsters get out of hand oh, super quick, like right about now. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Oh! Shit, I'm definitely gonna die in this. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Get over here. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'm gonna call this too soon. Ooh, this one's shiny. Leather jacket recipe. So in this game, there is a dungeon crawler, which is what I'm doing right now. There's a dating sim, and there's also crafting. So that that would be what that's for, eventually. Okay, so this area is fully explored. The f somehow I made it down to level nine, which is it's pretty rad. Let's see if I can go all the way? Nah, I'll probably wrap it up here very, very soon. I was gonna do it after I died. Oh god! Oh no. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Look at all these monsters I killed. Rakaka. Good night. Woo! Three vaults. A couple of hands. Level up. Not too terrible, I think. Ooh. And it don't stop coming, and it don't stop coming. Very cool. Woo! 
as you leave the dunge. Ooh. I've been thinking. Something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? Maybe he was under a spell. Maybe. Either way, let's keep an eye out for Selena. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything. You head home. Okay. Oh, seven Exodus. Impulse control is very hard for me. Ah, what does he say? Or they say. Thanks again. Doctor says my damage. The, any damage I took will heal itself. There's a doctor for swords? Um, what are you up to? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You want coffee? Coffee's fine. I'll be at kicks. Okay. We're going to end it there. We've met a new sword. We've leveled up a whole bunch. Uh, died before we got to level 10, which is not too terrible. Um, I'll probably and most likely be posting these videos uh, on YouTube a little bit later. I have the first um, episode of this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I did not expect anybody to actually watch it. It's kind of late. But I hope that you get lots of sleepies and you pick this up this game, Boyfriend Dungeon. It's done by Kit Fox Games. Um, they're a game developer that's very near and dear to my heart. I've been following this, the game development for four years. And I myself am a game developer here in Seattle. Um, gaming is a big part of my life and I love just silly, silly boyfriend simulators, silly, silly dating simulators. So if you liked what you saw, um... I don't know. I'll be around again. <laughs> I'll probably try to do another late night stream. Hey, Brian. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll probably do streams a little later in the evening and um, not on a Sunday. Uh, if you're ever considering streaming on your own, don't do it on a Sunday because nobody's watching that shit. <laughs> um, but again, my name's Becca. I'm a QA uh, game developer here in Seattle. And I just I love games. And I love playing them. And um, I'm going to go relax. And I hope that you do too. Maybe get a little late night snack. Enjoy payday tomorrow. If you haven't had a pumpkin spice latte, do so. And I hope that the rest of you just have a wonderful night. Um, I don't know. Like and subscribe. Just kidding. Uh, take care and good night.